going to have a look this time at a building that dates from the mid 20th century. So this, this shop front here was the main co-op building, um, Elko House, um, sometimes referred to as White Elephant. The building itself was constructed in 1943 during the war, so that's quite unusual. And it uses fairly conventional stone construction with some nice art deco detailing above. But the shop front is has been uh, replaced, renewed in the 1960s uh, by a well-known firm Pollards. So it has a lot of common features, the best of those common features from a shop front from the, the 60s. Um, the most notable thing about this shop is that it's clad um, with very fine granite, a blue sparkly granite, which you find in a lot of uh, mid 20th century shops. So there's blue granite above and the base course here, the plinth, is black granite. The, one of the difficulties with this kind of material is if you, if you come along um, you get to somewhere we can see it, but you can't really see very clearly. It's, it's only that thick, very thin. So it's held on with wires that go back into the structure behind. And it's quite common, as you'll see if you look above, um, for those wires to give way. You can just see the wires at the very top. And the glue patches that are forming the base for it also fail. So this is a really common problem with this type of shop front, failure of the granite cladding. And you do find other materials used as well. There's a material called vitrolite, which is a painted uh, sorry, a, a glass with a, a surface of here to the back, very shiny. It's often used down here, but I think in this case we're looking at uh, stone. The other thing that's missing about the shop front you can't see now is that it would originally have been bronze or brass clad and it would have had um, awnings that came out on arms. So the awning box here is the orange section, the high level goes right the way round, and the current roller shutters are housed in these big signs that are at the top of the windows, so they obscure the tops of the windows. The, the finish though in this shop front exists um, really well in the sign, because the shop also has a massive internal lobby. Um, so you can start to see the detailing here. This, there's the brass um, coming round. As you get into the Part of the shop, though, materials changed and they started to use um, what we would call stainless steel, but at the time was referred to as bright steel. Um, so it formed all the corners and the junctions. And this, this junction here, where the glass meets, is a thing that you'll find in a lot of shop fronts all the way through the 20th century. Is, um, rather than, as you might have windows, two windows butting up against each other, two bits of glass come together with the barest minimum of joint. So the joint here is just a very, very thin steel rod with two little pins through the glass to hold it together. And you can do that because there's no structure in this glass at all. It's a bit like a, a, a goldfish tank. You really just want to show off the goods as best as you can. And you don't want big heavy timber sections or other steel pins getting in the way. And one of the common things, and we'll probably see it as we go through the high street, is that as these things get replaced, big heavy chunky timber sections come in and it slightly destroys the character of the original building. In this case we're lucky as well that the original doors also survive. So you can see the brass fade to the doors and then again the bright steel with the original handles here. So a, a lovely shop front, in fact a very nice shop. The, the floor that we're standing on here as well in the lobby, another common material, particular mid-20th mid century terrazzo. So it's, it's um, chips of uh, granite and marble in a, in a cement base. Um, and then it's ground polished off, so it's, it's effectively a type of concrete, but polished very highly. So if this was really polished up, it would really shine and show off all the stone. And another element, which again is very common, and also in uh, uh, 19th century shop fronts, is to use marble at the, at the front. The part, part where you come into the shop, the threshold, is done in the best of materials, marble that probably came from Carrera in Italy.